Sanjay Gandhi Postgraduate Institute of Medical Sciences SGPGIMS is a medical institute under State Legislature Act, located in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. It was established in 1983 and is named after Sanjay Gandhi. The institute is on a 550 acres, 2.2 square kilometers residential campus at Raybareli Road, 15 kilometers from the main city. The institute offers its own degrees, which are recognized by the Medical Council of India. SGPGIMS delivers tertiary medical care, super-specialty teaching, training and research. It offers DM, MCH, MD, PhD, postdoctoral fellowships PDF and postdoctoral certificate courses PDCC, and senior residency. BSc Nursing 4-Year Course Topic program SGPGIMS is an educational institute that imparts postgraduate medical training and a working hospital that provides inexpensive medical care. It is a tertiary care referral hospital that caters to patients referred from not only the whole of Uttar Pradesh, neighboring states such as Bihar, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Uttarakhand, Orissa, West Bengal, but almost whole of India and neighboring countries including Nepal, Bangladesh, Pakistan, Sri Lanka, Bhutan, and Middle Eastern countries. SGPGI is also emerging as a destination for medical tourism. This autonomous institute is a university established under a constitutional act. Located on a sprawling 700 acres, the institute offers its own degrees, which are duly recognized by the Medical Council of India. The institute offers DM, MCH, MD, PhD, postdoctoral fellowships PDF and postdoctoral certificate courses PDCC, and senior residency in various specialties. The institute has more than 190 faculty members in 29 academic departments. The academic departments are engaged in teaching, training, patient care and research. The institute has a hospital-wide computer network with more than 500 computers spread all over the hospital and departments. Internet connections are available in all the departments. All faculty members, residents and students are provided with email facilities. All the patient care activities are computerized, and the institute was the first amongst all government hospitals in India to implement the Oracle based HIS system in 1997. The old HIS is now being replaced by a higher capacity internet based HIS, which will be fully integrated with the PAX and telemedicine network, besides providing opportunity to patients to access their medical records and reports from their homes in a secure and convenient manner. Patients would also be able to more easily schedule consultations, tests, and surgery from their home, and deposit money for those. The institute has the following departments, clinical emergency medicine anesthesiology anesthesiology, intensive care and pain management hematology, hemato-oncology and bone marrow transplantation unit clinical immunology and rheumatology neurosurgery neurology surgical gastroenterology and liver transplantation unit gastroenterology cardiovascular and thoracic surgery critical care medicine cardiology urology Nephrology, nephrology, endocrine and breast surgery, endocrinology, medical genetics, radiotherapy, radiation and clinical oncology, regional cancer center, biostatistics and health informatics, nuclear medicine, pathology, pulmonary medicine, microbiology, radiology, transfusion medicine, plastic surgery and burns, molecular medicine, maternal and fetal medicine, pulmonary medicine, pediatric surgical super specialties, hospital administration. Administration Pediatric Gastroenterology The Institute has a telemedicine unit as part of the School of Telemedicine and Biomedical Informatics. SGPGI Main Auditorium Complex is a state-of-art projection and multimedia theater connected live to all the operation theaters in the Institute, AIIMS, PGI Chandigarh and JIPMER in Puducherry. 
A smaller auditorium with a seating capacity for nearly 140 persons is also available. In addition, each department has seminar rooms for conducting departmental teaching activities. A new state-of-the-art convention center cum lecture theater and library complex is coming up on the campus. Topic. Academic courses and facilities The Institute offers DM, MCH, PDF, PDCC, and Senior Residency hospital services training programs in various specialties. The Institute runs DM Doctorate of Medicine, MCH, Magister Chirurgy, and MD Doctor of Medicine programs, training residents in surgical and medical super-specialty and specialty fields. It also runs PhD programs for basic science research and BSc nursing four years course. SGPGIMS pioneered the three-year DM, MCH program at a time when the typical course was two years before MCI mandated that all such training programs should be of three years duration. It was the first Indian institution to start DM courses in clinical immunology, medical genetics and MCH in endocrine surgery. SGPGIMS has a library with more than 21,000 books and subscriptions to nearly 450 scientific journals, a computer network with more than 230 computers, internet connections, and email facilities. Patient care activities are computerized. There is the main auditorium, a smaller auditorium, and seminar rooms. Teaching covers basic, medical, and surgical specialties, with compulsory and optional courses covering areas relevant to all aspects of medicine. There is a strong emphasis on research and training in research methodology in postgraduate courses. All students have to complete two compulsory courses basic course and course on biostatistics, and two optional courses from among those offered, including scientific communication, clinical decision analysis, research methodology, laboratory instrumentation, computer applications, biomedical literature search, bioinformatics, basic immunology, medical physics, and molecular biology, etc., to be eligible for the final examination. Publications in indexed national, international journals is a basic, mandatory requirement for DM and MCH programs. Thesis is a compulsory part of MD programs. The senior residents and junior residents trainee doctors at SGPGI are selected through a nationwide entrance test conducted twice in a year. Any Indian citizen with medical qualifications recognized by Medical Council of India and who fulfills certain age and other criteria is eligible to take the entrance test, which is 100% objective. <laughs> <laughs> Location The institute is to the southwest of Lucknow City on National Highway 24B Rabarelli Road. It is close to the Lucknow Airport approximately 12 km, Lucknow Sharba Railway Station approximately 14 km, and Lucknow Interstate Bus Terminus approximately 15 km. Topic administration The director is overall administrative head of the institute. The government of Uttar Pradesh is represented by Chief Secretary as President of SGPGIMS and a Special Secretary Department of Medical Education as Additional Director in the Institute Administration. The academic activities are overlooked by the Dean, who is assisted by four sub-deans, and the Office of Executive Registrar, an examination cell. Research Cell, Institute Ethics Committee and Animal Ethics Committee play a vital role in coordinating research activities, while the financial matters are handled by Office of Finance Officer, who is a upstate government official. 
The offices of Joint Director Material Management Co. ordinates all procurements of equipment, while the Hospital Revolving Fund pharmacy and Investigations Revolving Fund coordinate procurement of drugs, consumables, investigation and research kits etc. The hospital administration is headed by Chief Medical Superintendent, under whom Medical Superintendent, Deputy and Additional Medical Superintendent function. Professor Rakesh Kapoor a urologist as the current director and Professor Rajan Saxena as the dean of the institute. Professor P.K. Singh is the chief medical superintendent, who is assisted by Professor Amit Agarwal who is the medical superintendent. Campus SGPGIMS campus is spread over an area of 700 acres. Two types of accommodation are available on the campus for student, two hostels that have with single occupancy rooms and apartments subject to availability. The campus has an artificial lake, with fountains and walking path around it. Recreational facilities include a swimming pool and sports complex. There is a hobby center called Rang, which also houses the faculty club, a community center and a large air-conditioned multipurpose auditorium, Shruti. The campus has a nursery school and a high school up to class X. The campus also features a college of nursing, with students coming from all over the nation. Most of the students are from Azamgarh, Mao and Janpur. The Institute Community Center has a branch of State Bank of India and a post Anurag Kumar Yadav and Govind Kumar Yadav. Topic: <laughs> SGPGI Hospital. The hospital is located nearly 1 km from the Institute main gate and a regular free shuttle bus makes a to and fro trip every 10 to 15 minutes. The hospital works as a referral hospital and endeavors to work on an appointment system. Though most patients are required to bring a referral slip from the referring physician, surgeon, but even such patients who have not been referred by a doctor but are suffering from a disease that can be treated at SGPGIMS are also welcome. The referring physicians are requested to indicate the nature of patient's problem, the specialty at the institute they wish to refer the patient to and the nature of help required from the institute. SGPGI is a upstate government owned and run hospital and has some of the best trained and internationally renowned doctors on its payroll. All doctors, nurses, and other personnel are full time salaried staff, and patients need not pay any amount in form of their professional fees. However, the hospital charges a highly subsidized cost for all investigations, treatment, medications etc., which is about 10% to 25% of costs at corporate, private hospitals of comparable quality in India. The Institute Hospital endeavors to work on an appointment system. Thus, the patients are expected to revisit the Institute Hospital only on appointed days, except in case of an emergency. Patients once seen are usually provided an appointment for any investigations, outpatient consultation, admission for treatment and surgery. The inpatient treatment at SGPGIMS Hospital is highly organized and all efforts are made to reduce inconvenience to patients, that is usually the case at various government hospitals. The online health information system of the hospital is synchronized to the online billing system and online pharmacy. Patients are provided all medicines, consumables, surgical material etc. at the bedside, for which the patients are charged a highly subsidized cost, in most cases about 30-40% to less than the MRP. Emergency facilities 
The institute caters for emergencies relating to the specialities existing at the institute but not for general medical emergencies. It does not have a full-fledged emergency medicine, trauma department, and is not geared to manage acute emergencies and trauma cases. Any such patients received at the emergency receiving station of SGPGI are referred to other hospitals in the city, and are provided only first aid, supportive treatment. Other facilities The campus has several facilities for patients and their attendants. These include PRA, Patients' Relatives Accommodation, available to relatives of patients admitted to the hospital, on payment basis. Vishramalaya, a daytime facility for outpatients and relatives with lockers, a place to relax, a restaurant, bathrooms, toilets, etc. Cafeteria, bank, post office, shops for drugs and medical consumables. Topic: Notable people. Topic: Notable alumni. Ashutosh Tiwari, MCH, 1994. Kanaboyana Nagaraja, PhD, 1995. Harish Paptani, PhD, 1995. Ramakant Yadav, DM, 2006. Topic: Notable faculty. Shyam Swaroop Agarwal, Rakesh Agarwal, Mahendra Bandari, Sita Naik, Sunil Pradhan, Rajan Saxena, Amita Agarwal.